I myself will lift up your skirts over your face. God, by his own words, is taking credit for rape. So several background points need to be made here. First, throughout the Old Testament, we see a common metaphor of Israel being compared to an adulterous wife. Just as an adulterous wife breaks her covenant with her husband, with other men, Israel breaks its covenant with Yahweh by worshiping the gods of other nations. This is why we see at the end of Jeremiah 13, God says that he has seen the abominations of Israel, its adulteries and its nangs and its lewd whorings. The second point to be made here is that there are indications from the documents we have of the ancient Near East that a punishment for the those caught in adultery is public exposure of one's private parts to shame them. Westbrook notes in his book on ancient Near Eastern laws that humiliation was a valid form of punishment. For example, for example, adulterers might be stripped naked and led around town by a nose rope. He later goes on to say a literary account of a trial for adultery suggests that the husband had a wider discretion in the punishment of his wife. Having caught the lovers in the act, the husband ties them to the bed and brings them bed and all before the court. The woman is condemned to pay divorce money, her pubic hair is shaved like a prostitute, her nose is bored with a stick, and she is led around the city. And then he goes on to note that there's a document which seems to allow the husband to strip his misbehaving wife of her clothes and chase her away naked. Based on these two background remarks, interpreting the text from Jeremiah and Isaiah as God saying he is going to literally rape Israel, this is just complete nonsense. The idea here seems to be a continuance of the metaphor of Israel being an adulterous wife or a prostitute and lifting up her skirt is to shame her publicly by exposure. It is also worth noting that the phrase lift up your skirt seems to be used in this way elsewhere. For instance, in Nahum 3.5, we see God says, Behold, I am against you, declares the Lord of hosts, and will lift up your skirts over your face, and I will make nations look at your nakedness and kingdoms at your shame. Here the idea seems to be public shame from exposure, not rape. It's also important to note that while we in the modern world might see the word skirt, and we think of a garment that a woman wears, the term for skirt here was not only applicable to women. In fact, we see this word being used to refer to priestly robes and even to God's robes. We also see the idea of lifting up one's skirt in regard to a man in Deuteronomy 27.20, which says, Cursed be he that lieth with his father's wife, because he uncovers his father's skirt, and all the people shall say, Amen. Tying this all together, the idea that lifting up your skirt in Jeremiah is meant to refer to a man literally lifting up a woman's skirt to rape her. That is just simply not supported by the data and seems to be the result of them reading rape into the text. This is part of an extended metaphor, metaphor we see throughout scripture of Israel being an adulterous wife and God shaming Israel for their infidelity. I know what you're about to say. Hey, Garb, there was a lot of other scriptures in that video that you didn't address. What about those? I have addressed those. They were just too long to put in one video, so I decided to split it into like six or seven parts, and I will be uploading those throughout the upcoming week. So if you like this, check my channel to see the past ones and future ones.